Riding in a pace line is a skill that involves cyclists riding behind one another in order to be as fast and efficient as possible. We see the pros do it all the time, whether it's in a breakaway or when a certain team gets on the front to take control. But riding in a pace line isn't just for the pros. Now it is a skill that can take many years to perfect, but if you're new to cycling or maybe you just want to brush up on your skills, in this video we're going to go through a few pace line tips. And luckily we have Bath CC to join us and show us just how to do it. So, come on guys, take it away. Let's get riding in a pace line. Oh, hey. Go on Hank. Up, up, up. They're looking sprightly today. We all call it something different, but what we are referring to is riding in a line, working together to share who rides in the wind on the front before moving to the side, drifting to the back and letting the next rider hit the wind. The reason for riding like this is because the faster we ride, the tougher it gets to travel through the air. After all, aerodynamic drag is the biggest force to overcome unless we are going up a steep gradient. The reason for sharing the workload is because riders can rotate, get on the front and do their turn before then getting back in the wheels, getting behind the group and then crucially recovering. In this way, a group is more efficient than a single rider being on their own. So you know how a pace line works, but what are the little tricks and tips to help you out? Ride smoothly and consistently and avoid any big surges in speed. You don't want to get on the front and sprint as you might end up dropping your teammates. If you do feel good, you can just do a longer turn on the front. You want to sit nice and close to the rider in front, not leaving too much of a gap because then you'll end up being more in the wind and never ever overlap wheels. We all know how that one ends, a crash. Also, if you do find yourself getting too close to the rider in front, then soft pedal. Don't just suddenly grab the brakes because that will only end up in the rider behind you going right into your backside. When you hit a climb, make sure to ease up as the people behind have lost some shelter and won't recover as well. And make sure you finish your turn with the ability to get back on the back, else you will risk getting dropped. In some situations, you'll see a double pace line. Now this works using exactly the same principles as a single pace line. However, the changes will be much closer together. You'll have one right line of riders making their way to the front and one line of riders making their way to the back, a slow and a fast line. As with all skills, practice really makes perfect if you want to carry this out effectively. So take any opportunity you can get to practice this one. Many of the same tips apply to pace line and double line. You want to keep the two lines as close and as tight as possible. One line will be the fast line and the other line will be the resting riders and you will constantly be rotating, moving from the front to the back. When you're at the front, you want to try and keep your turns really smooth. So you're aiming for around 20 to 30 seconds and you don't want to kick through too hard. So when you get to the front, try and keep the same pace as the rider that's set before you. When you're done, simple flick of the elbow, move out to the side and let the rider behind you come through. All the time keeping it smooth, keeping right on the wheel, not letting too many gaps appear because that'll make it harder for yourself and also for riders behind you because you'll be taking yourself out of that all important slipstream. turn about 30 seconds long and easing up and gradually coming to the back. Now the main thing to consider is getting to the back of that line and getting on before you lose too much speed or too much energy because if that gap to the person in front grows too big, the pace line is going to spit you out of the back. It's been nice and smooth and it helps the person at the back actually shouts we're the last one in the line and you know what you're aiming for when you turn back down the line and when to get back in. Pay attention to where the wind is coming from. Depending on what direction the wind is coming from will determine what way the line rotates. If the wind is coming from the left, you want the line to be going anti-clockwise, so the resting riders will protect the riders coming through to the front. If the wind does happen to change direction or you go around a corner, when you get to the front, signal to the riders behind you that you are going to change direction and start coming through the other way. This advice applies to pace line single and double. As the terrain changes, you're obviously going to struggle a little bit more. And it's really important that you all communicate as a group when 
activating a pace line. So that means if you're struggling at the back, you need to shout to the front. So slow down or speed up. In a double line, if you're really starting to suffer at the back, try not to panic or worry. Don't get involved in the group and do turns. You want to sit on the back, but also communicate with the riders in front of you that you are beginning to suffer. So that means simply shouting a communication word like, through, up, guys, I'm suffering. Give me a second. Don't be afraid to give yourself a bit of recovery at the back and then get back into that double line. You'll bounce back. If you try and keep on pushing, all that will happen is you'll get dropped. That's it, guys, keep it going. I'll be with you in a second. Just need to take some water. Oh. So those are some of our best tips for riding in a pace line. If you do happen to try this, let us know how you got on in the comments section below. But do remember, it does take a lot of time and practice. And if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I think me and Manon need to catch up with Bath CC because they've yeah. disappeared off into the distance. Dropped us. Thanks again for joining us, folks. See you on the next one.